So the offlane mag up against the Grimstroke Lycan. How do you do you see him getting a lot out of the side lane, or is this just kind of sacrificing the mag? I don't think you're sacking him, but I do think Lycan will win. Uh, that's for sure. And he has to be very careful of the Inkswall combo. But luckily, he does have, or fortunately, he does have a mobility spell to get away from an Inkswall oh, combo. He might go down here oh. quick first blood. He Underestimating them, yeah. At the expense of your offlaner a bit, uh, I'm more so concerned that Lycan, one of the most tempo-heavy carries in the entire game, and you're giving him the start he wants. We are, is out leveling him, though, even though the CS advantage is to the Lycan. Did see a little jungle stacking be in as FNG is being... Uh is pursuing GH, but GH will just walk away. So maybe they'll just have the mag catch up in the jungle. We'll see how much more stacking GH gets done. Yeah, this is... I really like to see how much stacking is going on in Perfection. Oh, under the top tower, Vampire, Jesus. he just gets changed and he's dead. They're going to rotate GH down bottom now. Look to set something up. FNG and Pursuit, but the Fissure comes through. Can they body block him? Dream with the Shockwave getting low. Skewer oh, forward nice does skewer. connect. And they'll wow, finish him off. Well played. As well, so FNG's items are delayed. Yeah, we saw Secret doing this really well yesterday, where whenever the opponent brings more resources to other lanes, you try to punish the heroes that are left alone. As we see, FNG misses the Fissure block a bit, though, on GH, so he should be just fine. I think he would have died there if he was caught on the other side of that moment. Yeah, it seems Necro, with a bit of help, is very favored against the Morphling. One of the best heroes at making use of the Fissure Block, because you're always shoving the lane in, you're always threatening to dive the tower. As we see a rune engagement, looks like we're just saying hi between the two supports. And GH may be giving him some love taps in a second here. Also top, Kuroki. He's got the boots, he's got the mango, he's chasing yes, FNG sir? out. But yeah, it looks like Kuroki is going to go down. Vampire man, give it to him. Jage still chasing for this kill. Bottom, he's might just kill FNG solo with a left. He <laughs> even rotate to help. Shockwave comes through. FNG going to go down. GH, this man is everywhere. He's securing bounty runes. He's stacking camps. He's destroying mid. He's got two courier kills. And now he's just going to walk away. You know, and like the SpongeBob. Well, after my time, BSJ. After? Yeah. Oh. When did SpongeBob start? I think. Early 2000s? Yeah. Oh my god, the sentry with the last right click, he was like <laughs> right on the edge of that range. I'm it actually looks like he's land. outside. Yeah, of that's it. what I mean. I'm pretty surprised if it landed. Double damage rune on mind control, looking to pressure this mid tower. At the very least, you're bullying GPK away from the creeps. And he's got to set strength more after else he's just going to die to the Necrophos ult. Yeah, he's he's going for a Morbid Mass to try to sustain, but it seems to be overwhelming amounts of harass. It's kind of this critical threshold where. If you get this Morbid Mask early enough, then the harass isn't that significant. As we see Miracle chasing again top, just killing. Well, there, Shots, oh. I think it's fair to say they're losing all three. Aggressive, but bottom lane, we see the Ink Swell. This is a perfect example. This is a great use of that first Lycan ultimate. As we see another dive coming out from Miracle top, only level five on Shotchalo, so it doesn't feel too good to try to counter gang for him. But Enigma, either way, just applying a lot of pressure with that catapult. Still alive at eight and a half minutes into the game. That's a five minute catapult. Going a Spirit Vessel Rush is Miracle. Seems like the safe lane Ember build right now. To try and just secure this Morphling's farm and keep him alive. But they are forfeiting map objectives and exchanges. All the now the rotation is like probably going to come towards mid. And cute little play here from Vampire. They will get off the Inkswell stun. The follow up auto attacks just enough. Secures the kill. Kuroki's rotating in though. And Miracle as well, so they may just decide to push anyway. This rotation happened. Will Nigma look to take the mid and then contest them top? Maybe not because GH only level five, but he's almost level six. Miracle. Vampire. He's just walking around like he owns the damn place, but so much damage. He might be in danger here. Miracle has he overextended? You betcha. That's a big goal. So it makes sense that he wants to double down on that. He already ulted on Dream here. What's the plan? He saw Kuroki running in, but Kuroki backed away, and they have a ward. Does he make it out? He'll be just fine with the help of mind control. He's like ganking for Shachalo, and Shachalo just keeps getting mana burned by these creeps. <laughs> he murders them. He says, that was the real target. No more mana burn for you, Kuroki. But I think it's already done its job as Gambit, or Dream, excuse me, getting chased down by Miracle. They can kill him. Yeah, they, no have, they have sight. He's, he's dead with sight, yeah. Oh, out for 50 seconds. That's likely a tap. Boy, 2,100 health. 
He's actually going to take the outpost. He's got more health than the Weaver and the Panko combined. Well, he's putting himself pretty far out of position. Uh, if he'd gotten that outpost, would have been a great opportunity to take a fight, but instead, now he's running for dear life. Rolling Thunder forward. We have, oh, nice juke there. That runs back into the waiting arms of GPK. Collects the kill. A beefy boy. That also gives you an extra 320 health. We have. He's, uh, he's in no man's land again. This time, though, there are towers in range to TP to, but it's too late. That's two deaths in a row. And Miracle looks to counter this. Gets the chains off on the Lycan. Can they focus him down, though? They bound these two heroes up together. Where's the follow up to it, though? Not a whole lot from that grip stroke. It's really hard to fight an Enigma if they're all there, but Weha seems content to really embrace the NA ways that he learned from staying in here long enough. Just about 90 gold away. Oh, and the Philosopher's Stone on the chin. That's the dream. You can see a ball and out of control. Ritual Kuroki, but GH? Oh, he's just short. He needed oh. one more camp to get the blink, and he is denied. So he'll be at zero virtually, and Grimstroke also only at five. So this Deso bringing them down to nearly pure damage as Dream. We are TPing in, has the blink, as you said. No ulti for 70. They know this. They are, oh. We are, once again, he's just uh, walked uh, into the arms of Gambit for yet another death. He is totally out of position and easily punished so greedy. Weeha's on the feed train, BSJ. Choo-choo? Yeah, and all, all aboard, leaving the station. I don't know if they're coming back, but Miracle's here looking to salvage this, and they will end up getting FNG. Still not really a great trade by any means. <laughs> as far as possible hey. from the team, and they're immediately smoking to the bottom lane. If it doesn't work the first five times, go back. We are uh, poor, times. unfortunate soul. Oh, he plays oh in my the God. Road and once again. Is it a bait? Are they ready? They are not. It's another death for the mech. We are is crumbling. Nigma now might lose GH as well, who's been scouted out here by the Lycan. Nice done with the Centaur. He's pretty tanky, though. On the backside, Dream does get that kill, and the chase is now onto mind control. They don't have the Chen here. The Ember Spirit back at the Fountain, so they're going to lose three. Nigma, real sloppy stuff from them. Just Five times in a row. As they look to force the Roche, Enigma, they say, come at us, bro. We have RP, we have Echo Slam, we have a mag with five deaths. Well, bro SJ, let me ask you, can they go fight? Are they strong I, I, enough to take the Pango, pit? but like it in these types of scenarios is pretty underwhelming. You, you virtually can't dish out any damage with all this AOE and the Ghost Shroud and the Chen Heals, the Ember Spirits. So what you're saying is no. down. TLDR. No. The Frost. Ogre Creep. GH is going to get revealed oh, broken, by the Sakuchi. Yeah. Nicely done. Vampire will scurry away, and they still walk up to the high ground. He gets the Blake Skewer back down to the low ground, into the waiting arms of the Fissure. The follow-up oh, stun is there. They commit the Necrophosol out for 70. Does have buyback, chasing for more. Miracle now onto the Grimstroke. Nigma polishing up and uh, cleaning up their act. Up. You'll start bursting for, he has, uh, I think I saw 230 agility. So that's, I, I believe, about 600 damage coming out from that E-Blade, as well as the Adaptive Strike and Waveform. Think about another smoke. I think they've popped like three in the last five minutes. They are going to find an opening off the back of this. They got the ward down on the high ground. It was being dewarded, but not quickly enough. They will find the kill on the Grim Stroke. Split push happening a bit bot or bottom with the Morphling and the Lycan creeps. They may just commit for that, but with this Deso on Miracle, they're gonna lose buildings quickly. Do they come back and defend, or do they just sack the tower, possibly the lane? Clock is ticking. Still 15 without that Grimstroke. And they have brought the whole squad back. Do they find the opening? Good chains initiation here by GPK. Now the rolling thunder. Wow. Quick deletion of the ages. The Chen heal forced out a bit too late. This could be a big opportunity, but the RP comes through. Echo. Great interruption from Shane Just keeps on stunning them so they can't combo with this. It's about as good as you could hope for from Gambit. They're forcing them back. Dream's in the rear. There's no lockdown for him whatsoever. GH out of mana, out of options. He's dead too. They've brought down three. They popped the ages. Now they're looking for Kuro. Gambit gonna fight for it. It might just be a full one. Does he get out? He's on the cliff. He's out of there. We are uh, the last man standing. And Pretty insanely good. Surprised they got buffed a few patches ago. They are smoked up. Enigma round two. 
Dream out of position here. No, it has the BKB. He's just fine. Soulbind coming through. The silence is there as well. Can he find a quick kill here? Looking for it, but so far, Miracle's staying alive through this. He's going to slide back. Dream Ow. BKB down now has to back away. They still have Rolling Thunder, and Shecho's going to let it roll. Charging forward, looking for the opening. They want to burst down Mind Control. They get him. Courtesy of the Morphle, the shotgun is there. Now, Weeha on the run. The chains come through, but time lapses it off. A headlong retreat, blinking away at the last second. He will escape, but will Miracle be so lucky? The army of creeps charging at him. He's got a slight remnant back. Barely makes it out, but the tower, that can't run. And they are descending on it in numbers. It's like they have their own Ember Spear. GPK doing so much work here, but now he's overextended into the RP. Time will he make it out? No, he'd be going to be just fine. Vampire with the big save. Now GPK chasing forward. Has the chains. Didn't quite connect that time. Now GH on the run to the right. Can he get out of here? Shotgun. See you later. But suddenly Morphling back to full like nothing ever happened. And that's exactly what it's going to take for GPK to just carry this game. Speaking of that Morphling, GPK trying to interrupt the Shrine, or the outpost snag here. As the chains come through, he's going to wave forward, commits in. He knows that there is no RP, there is no Echo Slam, so he can play as aggressive as he wants, and they're going to lose Miracle again. He's down for the count. They will be denied, I believe, on the outpost grab. No, they did at least get that, but still GPK chasing for more. Weeha backing away. And the chase is on, has the TP. Doesn't have the BKB, though. Will he make it out? Looks like Mind he will. Control's also getting chased by the ink swelled up Lycan. He's silenced by the Grimstroke Phantom. Does get the Halberd off with the Ghost Shroud, but the Spider Legs. And purges with the Necro Book 3. Nice micro coming out. From Miracle's build's really good against everyone but the Morphling, which is the problem here. Shots are running in. Finds the RP on the... Can he burst him down, though? Okay, gets the oh, Weaver. He will. Very Wait, nice. the Weaver was in there. Yeah. Oh, I think he no. went in to time-lapse him out and then just got the big hammer. Are they going to try to punish this? They have the Solar Crest. They have the, the Deso. Deso. Yeah. They might be able to do it in time. Mag's going for AC. Has the Hyper Zone. They just shot a pretty good amount of damage, but there's a Wolf in there. They're scouting, so they know. Oh, GPK didn't, didn't quite connect there on the chains. And the Roche starts to drop. He's about... A quarter HP down, three Three quarters down to go. Low, so he knows that they saw. Remember, there's no RP for this fight. There's no Echo Slam for a full minute. So he can play relatively aggressive as he slights his way in. Block with the Flame Guard. Will he commit for the steal? Roche, on the 10th HP. He wins and he grabs the Aegis. He gets the kill too. What a disaster for Nygma. And he stole five in the pit, fighting on two dead. And the chase now going straight on to GH. Make it three. Absolute catastrophe. What else can possibly go wrong for Nigma this game? That seems like the nail in the coffin to me. Now that you have the Aegis on Morph, he didn't even lose it. Full Scotty done. Probably going to go for a Satanic, if I had to guess. Just make it that much more difficult to burst him down. And... Uh, these buildings are going to get shredded. Not only, they have buybacks, right? But they don't have Echo, they don't have RP. He's waving in a little well, bit deeper. Oh, amps himself. oh, easy value there. Damage. Wait, no, it amps it on himself. How does that work? Are I you feel like we're bad? seeing like morph with the old Apex or something. Holy crap, this guy hits hard. And he's going to start chunking down Weeha. Shotgun actually probably doing less damage than just the right clicks. But Weeha will get away just barely still. Back to the found. They have RP. They have Echo. But buildings are under siege. And with this Aegis, GPK not afraid. Has the Weaver way behind him. Very safe positioning from him. Oh my God, chunking down this Ember Spirit. Has to force him back to the fountain. In fact, GPK. Back to mag form, fresh in power, and continues hammering away at the melee with the illusions. We'll get it. Bottom lane also being chunked down while that was happening by the Lycan army. I think it might almost die to the Necro Creep. Fermenting somewhere. Yeah, it's Just getting a little, little moldy blue cheese, perhaps, at this point. Slightly poisons you. How much health would you heal from that? Or would you like have, like, you get, like... You get the full heal initially, but, but then it, it just slowly starts like, ticking you down. I you know? see. That makes sense. That makes Maybe sense. you like lose a couple move speed. Okay, as we see, Nigma just gotta have some lactate pills. You know, BSJ that'll clear it right up. Jesus. <laughs> they do have a ward. They see Grim, and they are gonna see Weaver, but they broke. That's such a good target to get if they can get him. 
They have those wards in position, but Vampire now tucked amongst the trees. And while that's happening, Mind Control, he's out of position and he's in trouble with the Fissure coming through to protect him. Actually might be okay. They get the Soulbind off again. Can they find the follow-up damage? While this is happening, GPK just shredding Curl in the back line. They just can't deal with he's this dead. Morphling. And like it, it's too much damage. They're going to call it. It's a certainly. game one win, like you said, for Gambit. And there's the Gs. Well, you know, Cap said he wouldn't believe in Gambit until they won a game. They won a game, BSJ, or maybe Nygma's lost a game. Yeah, I think about that.